Hi, I'm Sophie Burberry, aka Little Back. I just put out an album called Hope is Rubbery that shows off my two musical personas. One's called Sophie Burberry and one's called Little Back. Um, I chose to do two projects because I have more than one um, side of music that I like. So what are the two, well, how would you describe the two sides? Um, Little Bark is 80s pop, really, it's total pop, and Sophie Burberry is more like indie pop, sort of curish or ear or something like that. Um, so it's really um, obvious when I'm writing music whether or not it's going to be Sophie Burberry or Little Bark. All my Sophie Burberry music is written on the guitar, whereas Little Bark is always written on the synthesizer. Um, but to confuse everyone, I did two versions of a song that was actually originally a Little Bark song called In the Forest. I also put that and made that as a Sophie Burberry song as, as well, just so that we could see the differences between the two sides more clearly. So there's two different, very different styles of songwriting for Little Bark and Sophie Burberry. Um, Little Bark is always setting a scene, um, very light and, and playful, whereas Sophie Burberry is more narrative based and uses a lot more um, abstract sort of um, references to nature and that sort of thing to try and explain feelings and ideas um, about life. Um, yeah. So I bought the album out on two separate CDs um, and worked with two um, very different producers to make both albums because I had very distinctive ideas about how I wanted them both to sound and how different they were. Uh, but I also wanted to release them together because they're both me. It's very strange referring to myself as Sophie Burberry in the third person as well, so I've got to somehow find a way to start talking about that side of the album as being me and Little Bark as being Little Bark. But I've also got a whole lot of other projects that I'm working on now um, that will also bring up even um, a greater diversity of musical personas as well, so that will be the next album. So who did you work with to um, record both of us? So I worked so. with Dale Cotton down in Dunedin to record the Sophie Burberry side of um, the album and then um, for the Little Bark CD I worked with Conrad Weddy um, from the Phoenix Foundation to produce that, so yeah. You hear the darkness of Dunedin on the Sophie Burberry <laughs> side and it also features Tristan Dingmans and Bob Scott from um, Bats in the Clean. Um, whereas on the Little Bark it was really just me and Conrad, just the two of us making and recording everything together and yeah, in the car club in Wellington. So yeah, very lucky to have been able to have my pick. Um, yeah, I spent a lot of time talking, well a lot of people talking at me about um, the fact that I was bringing out my first album uh, is two um, separate albums in one and yeah a lot of people thought that that would confuse my audience or considering that I didn't have one that, <laughs> that it would um, yeah cause cause confusion and but I think I did it in such a way that it's very obvious which is which side of me and um, yeah the artwork and all the imagery behind it as well but I put a lot of time and effort into actually producing the, the album artwork so it's very clear which one is Sophie Burberry and which one is Little Bark and hopefully that you know the strength of the image behind them will also help people to to understand better yeah I this is the Sophie Burberry side it's um it's very earthy and very sort of fantastical as well but yeah I'm wearing my mother's wedding dress actually which is um it was quite amazing to get to, to wear that. And if you look at the little back side, you know, she's so slick and futuristic. And her whole story is actually about her coming into the future and taking over the city. And yeah, so she's, she's got a very strong image. And I created her image about a year and a half ago and her story about two years ago. So yeah, very strong understanding of, of the differences in my mind about those two sides of me. And then if you look through the um, booklet, you'll, you get to see the little bark images, which are, you know, very, very strong in terms of bold colours and, and images. Whereas the Sophie Burberry side is again much more earthy and sort of fantastical. It's, it's got this real, mm, I don't know. Yeah.
I really love the Sophie Burberry side. And that's the cover, which again is completely different. You've got, you know, you've got beautiful artwork. Who did, who did the artwork? Mika Still. She's a local artist in Wellington and she's quite a, she's an amazing artist. Yeah, I was really, really stoked that she agreed and she designed this specifically for me. Um, she did a, we did a great brief together and yeah, I love the spewing rainbows. And yeah, I love the fact that the, um, that the outside of the album is all, um, you know, illustrated, whereas the inner is all photographic. So once again, we've got the duality, and it just happens on so many different levels. You know that, yeah, that separation between the two. I just think it's it's helped me to, you know, because the music I think is really strong in its difference, you know, in its differences, and I think that the artwork really reflects that as well. So this is my new album, Hope Is Rubbery. Um, you find it at any good CD stores and it's also online um, you can visit my MySpace just pop in Sophie Burberry or Little Bark and you'll you'll find me no worries at all Do you have two MySpaces or one? I've got two <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I've got I've got a blog now that's that's Hope is Rubbery so I'm sort of trying to yeah, my YouTube channel is Hope is Rubbery so I'm trying to bring the two together somehow but yeah, it's definitely they still need to stay separate as well. So yeah, you'll find me if you just yeah have a have a look online. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.